Hello everybody and welcome back to Sunhaven where today um we are still waiting for the wheat to grow. Is that grown? Is it grown? Not quite. So I guess we will need to water it one more day. And once I've done that, um, so I'll need to go and find a few people for quests today as well. And I'm going to have a look around. Um, I'm going to make sure I've been in all the different shops. People have told me that there's things that I can do in all the different shops that I haven't been doing yet or something. So maybe, uh, well, you know, one thing that I should be doing is getting sugar and things for baking. So I'll have a look at my baking recipes. And we might try and like grow some stuff that's specifically for making some kinds of recipes. Um, like I say, it, it is a bit weird because sometimes some of the stuff um, you can't eat. Like I got given a sandwich and I couldn't eat it and things. So I, I don't know if it's specifically meant for selling. Maybe it is. It's like an egg hash. Should we see if we could get, because I've got some fences. Should we see if we could get some chickens or something? Because we haven't done much with the, the the farming side, considering it is a farming game. Ugh. I'm gonna make myself an iron axe. Well, I suppose at least I have a copper one. This side of the farm is getting very messy, and this is probably where I want to put my chickens. I probably do want to even out this. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to make this into one big field, I think, as well, because I'm getting really fed up of seeing, like, I'm getting sick of seeing this whole thing being, like, oh, actually, that's two fields of the same size. Okay, that would do. That would be fine. It was just looking really, like, janky and, like, different sizes, and I didn't like it. It was not aesthetically pleasing. So do a little bit of clearing out here. And do a little bit of actual farming for once. Because I feel like I've been running around doing all the adventuring. And we've not really done as much of the farming stuff as I would like. So I'm going to just clear all of this out. I'm usually right on it with clearing things out. I love it normally. But uh, there's just so much to do in this game. So much mining and farming and meeting people and giving in quests. And... It definitely keeps you busy. And that's all I really ask for in a game like this. The other thing is, I what, like if I see it as two different fields, I won't miss things for watering as much. I think, and I'm just gonna pop things in wherever they wherever they lie, wherever they land. Okay, this is looking a lot better now. At the end of the day, we have no stamina um, issues, so I'm also at the point where I don't really have money issues either, and I haven't even particularly been trying to make money either. I think if I tried harder, there's a lot I could do. Doesn't this just feel nicer? I haven't done fishing. I am the world's worst farmer. I just feel like, you know, I could just spend a day just clearing things out a little bit. Get rid of some of these rocks that are in the way. It's not like I can't find more rocks in the, in the mines, is it? There we are. It's looking nice. I want to do baking, and I want to like. I do want to go and get like a griffin mount. Or like a lion mount or something. I really do, but I also want to do farming. And cook things and make money. And get the best tools. Because like I can get I can get the best tools through just Oh look, there's loads of um earth crystals up here as well. Lovely. Make some earth fertilizer if I want. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I was just using my my scythe on the rock there. 
Oh well, I got all the stuff around it, I guess. Get the, get the scythe. There we are. Lots of tickets then. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Um, I'll leave this little bit a bit messy. You've got to leave some wild space for the bees, okay? That's the rules. So I'm going to make like, um, I think I'm going to finally use the fencing that I picked up. I'm going to make myself like a little chicken pen. Oh, well, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm one short. Can I make fencing in my, my thing, though? Can I make fencing on my workbench? I do need... I need a grinder so I can get, like, um, flour and stuff. Also, we have one adamantine key that I can use today. Very nice. I don't think there's anything to pick up on the furnace or anything like that. Do I have any adamantine bars? Just one. Okay, well, I could definitely go and get some more later on. But like I say, I just want to spend a little bit of time. I don't know if these cinnaberries do anything. I'll have to have a look at the cooking and things. But I just want to spend a little bit of time just around my place, just making things, you know? So let's make some wooden planks. Let's make like 20, if I can. Because that would be enough to do um, a grinder and a furniture table. Oh, and I need a loom as well. So let's do another 10 for a loom. Let's just see what we can make on those things, because that's something that I really haven't done as part of the, uh, of the game yet. Wooden fences. I can craft another one. I can craft five of them once I'm done with all that, see? So. Okay, cool up those planks and I will be able to craft then a wooden fence I don't know if I can change the order no I don't think I can so I just gotta wait um, so making five fence posts and I'll be able to like sort of extend the fence out I imagine that I can just so I've got another five so we need one two three four to go across there so I need one of those so I can have another two up And yes, person who was so disparaging in my comment section about me not knowing how to pick things up because it was not like Stardew. How dare I not know that it is not exactly the same as Stardew. Um, I do now know how to pick things up. <clears throat> I laugh at your pathetic rage. It must be nice to have a life where you have so little to be worried about that you can, you know, get mad about that. Jesus. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to go and see... Oh, I can buy chickens for 800 each. I'm gonna buy some chickens. I'll put them in my little chicken pan. They probably will they probably will try and run away until I can finish the fence off, but oh well. <laughs> There's my chicken. I will pet you. Oh my goodness, I get eggs. Okay, so that was really, really easy way to get eggs. So I've got three right now. I could get more though, and I could totally get some um I didn't even realise that was so easy. I would have done that ages ago. I've been a terrible farmer so far, I really have. I do admit it. So they love me a little more every day if I go and pet them. I don't know, do I need to feed them? Is there like some kind of chicken feed I can get them? Nobody's taught me about these guys. I don't know what I need to do to care for them. <laughs> I'll soon know if they die, won't I? <laughs> it looks like they are hungry, though. 
Maybe I could feed them wheat. Let's go see if like Kitty has any kind of like store, like um, pet care store. I will need to like pick them up and try and put them back in their, their pen at some point. I don't even know how to pick them up. I hope I can. Otherwise, I'm going to have some free range chickens for a long time. Sheila, great to see you again. If you have the time, I'd love to check in with you. I'm the town's councillor after all. Sure, let's check in. How are you settling in, Sheila? Um, sometimes I get lost around here. I'd love to help, but I'm terrible at giving directions. What do you do as a counsellor? Simply put, I talk to people about their problems. If you're feeling overwhelmed, come find me. Everyone needs someone to talk to. This town is lucky to have someone like you in it. Thanks, Sheila. I knew you were a kind person. See ya. So I take it I can't go in Kitty's house. No, okay. So I think I need to have a general look around. I think before I get any cows, I'm going to try and learn to look after my chickens properly. I mean, those guys look like they might be hungry. Like, shut up, you're so irresponsible, you shouldn't have bought, like... I'll go to the bakery and have a look. There's a few things I want to buy in here anyway. We can buy flour, we can buy noodles, we can buy cheese, pizza, cinnamon apple pie, bread, pizza boxes. Serves four, right click to open. Wow. Could just be buying my eggs as well. But yeah, I've got a few eggs um, of normal quality. I've probably got a few rare eggs as well. But that to me does not look like... Uh, although I I thought I could buy sugar in here. Flour, egg noodles. No, I cannot. Oh, that's super interesting. Okay, oh well. Maybe it's different days. Maybe on a different day I might be able to get sugar or something. But I want to have a look around all the different shops. I think the only shop here is the bakery. I'll go and check um, if I can buy sugar in the tavern. That's the only other place that I might be able to find it. How are we at 6 o'clock p.m. already? When did that happen? 7777 because the cat is waving. I think it was 8888 because the, the, cat, the octopus had eight legs. I think that was what you guys were saying in the comments anyway. <laughs> 777 is definitely, because it's definitely, 7 is a wave, isn't it? 07. So let's have a look in here. The tavern's so cosy. Is there an inn upstairs too? Yep, upstairs too. Where else would our weary travellers supposed to put their feet up? Um, have you heard, what kind of travellers do you get? Folks from all kinds of places. We even get sailors from the southern islands sometimes. Sunhaven may have seen better days, but our reputation for trade still draws folk in. Okay, what's it like running a tavern? People come in and we take care of them. And simple as that. It can be a lot to manage though, no matter what, our customers always leave full, rested and happy. Must be interesting seeing so many different people. Oh sure, the people make the job. Hearing traveller's stories is a perk of the work. See ya! Okay, I thought you had a shop. Am I being dumb here? Could have absolutely sworn you could buy food at the tavern. I hate it when I think things like that and then they don't work. Let's see if I can play the harp or the piano. That would be amazing. No. Apparently not. Okay then. And it's getting a bit late now, so I'm kind of thinking I'll just go back and I'll, um... I won't be able to do anything else. Okay. Got some mana from the water again there. I don't think you can do it all the time, but it seems like you sometimes can. Okay, I do need to make another copper helmet and things like that as well for my quests. But and and find Giuseppe. Giuseppe's a hard one to find though. But yeah, a little bit of like help on how to how to keep chickens would have been appreciated there, definitely. A little bit of this is what you feed them, this is you know, just just a basic 
rundown would have been quite nice. Um, can I pick you up, chicken? Aha, right click to pick up a chicken, by the way, guys. Right, you're getting you're getting uh, locked in now. There you go. Although now I can't go and pet them. Because I need a gate. Let's go and have a look if a gate is a possible thing. Um, it might be that I need a furniture maker to make a gate. No, wooden fence. It's good so that I can know where they are and what I might have to do every day is just um, take down a fence post and replace it. And how many eggs did I get? I got four from them, which is wonderful. I also could have used my fire fertilizer to make the wheat grow faster. Oops. I'll use it next time I plant something though, I think. And I think that wheat might be ready. I'm going to just double check. No, it does not. So it might be ready in the morning. We'll have to see. But yeah, um, bread is just two flour. Wow, okay. Fried carp. If I have a Dorado fish. Cheese is two milk. I'll get some cows soon, I think. As long as my chickens don't die, I'll get some cows. Creamy beef stew. Onion, carrot, and potato. I think that's slightly uh, mislabeled. Blueberry salad, blueberry and lettuce. I could probably make that. Green spice. Oh, I bet you if I grind down those green pepper thingies, I bet that would make green spice. I definitely need a grinder. I can make flour. Once I have milk, I'll be able to do a lot more. Obviously clams, you can just get down the, the thing. Um, probably corn and uh, corn and onions. I I've got like everything else. I think I might even have carrots. Let's have a look at what I've got. Oh, it's nearly it's nearly pass out time. Oops. Let's just go to bed. Just trying to work out how I can do a bit more cooking and things. Um, I'm definitely gonna now make start make a grinder. Absolutely. And I know this is probably not as super exciting. Well, hopefully it is as exciting. It's a whole new thing. So I've got potatoes, I've got one pepper. I've got green root, which I reckon would make green spice. I've got all this all these crystals that could probably make fertilizer. I've got some green root seeds to plant as well, so I'll just plant a bit more of those, I think. Uh, stack up my fire crystals. Okay. Uh, eggs can go in here. I might end up making another chest that will be for like uh, crystals. One chest for crystals and one chest for like... Um, and then I might have one for plants and I might have one for other things. Um, okay, so wheat. The reason I didn't have enough is that like quite often when it wants you to turn in a quest, it wants it all of one particular quality. So it's like a little bit annoying, honestly. Everything has two qualities, so you've got to have double the inventory space for everything. There's so much gold as well. And quite a bit of iron ore too. The apples at this point are not working on my health at all. They, 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 they do nothing at this point. So I'll either sell them or use them to make apple pie or something, I don't know. Not that I've seen apple pie in this. Also, I want to see quickly, um, one thing that I, I was thinking is, can I put two of these in or do I only have one? So what I want to do probably is when I'm out adventuring, I need to make sure that my keepsake gets changed. And when I'm farming, which I'm doing a lot of right now, I want to make sure that my peace keepsake gets changed. And then if I start doing romance and things like that, I need to make sure that I've got that keepsake on. So I need to make sure that I keep changing them around properly. Okay, so let's um, let's also open this bag of money so that it's not hanging around when it's not wanted. 
Excuse the screaming police siren. I It's too hot to keep my window closed right now. So I was hoping it would be a little bit uh, quieter, but no. In fact, it's more likely to be an ambulance. Um, at the moment, COVID rates are super high around by me. And when that happens, there's more ambulances. I can, I can physically hear it. I can physically hear the difference. Yay, it's all ready. The chickens have taken what appears to be some damage though. So I'm gonna see if I can feed them at all. They might be able to eat wheat. I might be able to make something in the grinder for them. Um, let's have a look, let's make the grinder and see if I can feed them from that. I don't want them to die. And this is why I didn't buy cows. I was like, no, no cows. Furniture table. Oh, I need some um, fabric for the loom. Okay, we'll need to go and collect some cobwebs. You're looking for anything like this and you get loads of fabric from it. I sold all my fabric because I was like, you know what? I get like millions of it. And now of course there's none to be found. I'll have to go into the uh, the forest and get some, but um, okay, so what is that ready? Ah, so we got some rice, okay, cool. And I probably need to water the carrots. And I could go to the farm shop and buy some more seeds as well. But yeah, this is starting to look a lot nicer. I just uh, wish I'd know what to feed those poor chickens. Do you eat rice? bash down a fence post quickly and go in and have a look at them of course they're like oh my goodness freedom so I pet the chicken can I feed you can I can I buy you a food trough mm, okay so I need to have a look around town and see what it is that I need to do to keep these chickens in tip-top health because they've definitely lost some health from being hungry I would say is there like any help menu or anything like that? This is my quests. My friendship with people. Okay, I'm gonna have a look in the general store. Because I'm just a little bit confused right now. Hey, what, Cara, where's Giuseppe? Oh, hello, farmer. Good to see you out. I haven't seen you in town much. I don't go out a lot. Most days I just don't have the energy for an outing, especially after playing with Pod in the morning. Why are you so tired? I have a heart condition that gives me fatigue. But it's under control. Dr. Warnhart and Catherine have both done wonders for me. Pod seems like a handful. He can be, but I like to see him living his life his way. If he gets into a little trouble every now and then, so what? At least he's happy. All that matters is he's happy and safe. I couldn't agree more. See ya. Okay, so, um... If Giuseppe is around, that'd be great. But if not, then okay. Hi, farmer. Who's your best friend in town? Toppy is my best friend, but Mama is my best best friend. Your Mama's lucky to have you. We have fun playing games every day. Do you like school? Yuck, no. Why not? We never learn anything important like hiding or sandcastles. <laughs> hiding and sandcastles are the important things in life. I see how it is. But the important thing in life for me right now is to have a look at these uh, these chickens. So I want to know if there's any like chicken feed or anything like that for sale at all. This is all seeds, crafting table. Oh, so sugar is here. Okay, another bed. I can buy a crafting table if I, for some reason, I destroyed my crafting table or whatever. Nothing for the chickens. I'm gonna buy maybe some corn seeds. Um, just in case they eat corn, it's one of the few things I don't have, and that sometimes in these games, corn... Eight will do, I think. Corn is what you use to feed, like, chickens and stuff, and there was corn on the table for 65. Oops, so well. <laughs> have a look in the pet store. One day all my work will pay off. What are you selling? 
A pet leash, pet food. I'll buy some pet food. Um, I'll buy three. And we'll see. We shall see. And I haven't bought a pet yet, I know, I, I should. Um, but but we'll see if uh, if the pet food is something I can feed them. That's another thing that might be a good thing. I'll check in the town hall because there's people that sell like barns and stuff in there. So maybe maybe pet maybe something I could feed the chickens. Maybe the grinder is the the, the key to it though, and that is being made right now. Uh, what are you selling? A wedding ring and a bone gift. No, so that's like clearly for pets and things. Hey, Navy, you're looking fit. Is that from farming or are you a health nut like me? Doesn't it get tiring being so healthy all the time? It sure does, but being tired makes me happy. I've never felt better than when my muscles are all sore from a really good workout. Uh, where do you usually work out in town? I like running on the beach in the morning when the sun comes up. I imagine the sunrise is like my reward. Do you like delivering mail? Well, I get to see everybody in town once a day. I get some great cardio out of it. I don't see the downside. No wonder you're a great career. You have a great attitude. It's true, your attitude does affect the job. That being said, I bet you're a top-notch farmer. See ya. That's great, but can I can I go and talk to this guy? Uh, can I talk to Emmett, please? Apparently not until she's out of the way. Get out of the way, Tanya. You're so annoying. <laughs> I'm shopping here. I guess you've got the the thing for health. We've got Anne's place. Which tends to be lots and lots of like really random stuff. The magazine is open to a page full of pictures of glittering diamonds. They all seem to be individually circled. The perfect way to keep your gold safe. Small money bag. It looks like an opinion article. It reads, trying to impress someone special. Gemstones show you're invested in your heart and your wallet. Ruby and sapphire are popular stones, but amethyst is a great choice. It's often overlooked. A handwritten note. Is laying on top of the magazine. It reads Raspberry Cheesecake. Ingredients Raspberry Cheesecake. An article seems to have been ripped out, but the title is still on the page. Finding gold ore for amateurs. I found plenty of gold ore. I don't think that I'm gonna find uh, much in here in the way of feeding chickens, though. Let's go back to the town hall quickly and see if uh, Tonya's out of the way now. Oh my goodness, she's still there. You've been stood there for like an hour. That's going to be all gemstones and things. Farming store, possibly. Oh, Catherine's actually in here for once. Cinnaberry seeds. Oh, they're really good to grow. Shimmer root seeds. An adamantine hoe and an adamantine watering can. What? I can just get them in here. Man. And earth fertilizer. Okay, well that's really good. I'm wondering when people say you can make a lot of money from selling things, whether there's certain things that... Uh, I doubt I'll see anything in the clothes store, but let's see what they've got for sale anyway. I'm almost out of debt. You know, if I can do it, anyone can. Oh yes, it's just all hats. I don't know. I, I feel like I might want to buy a witch's hat, but like it'd be, look a bit funny being an angel in a witch's hat. Okay, so coming soon. That'll be the, oh, that's the hairdressers, I'm guessing. So what have we got in here? This is someone's house. Also someone's house. Duty through service. And then we've got the tavern. So yeah, I've still got no idea how to feed my chickens. Um, I know I don't want to talk to you like for an hour. I was almost certain there was like a till in here before. I don't know if it's updated to not have that. I'm so confused. 
Okay, I feel like I've checked like all the shops now. Except for maybe the hospital. So I bought some pet food. It looks like there's a little fishing spot up there. I bought some pet food. I don't think I've ever been inside the barracks. That might be a thing to try. And um, I'm trying to make a grinder. So I'm hoping that the grinder will come up with some chicken feed before. Oh, it's really cool in here. There's another book to read. Look. Soldiers Diet Weekly. This week's hot recommendations are Earth's Pie and Mashed Potatoes with Gravy. This used to be a feature article by someone called the Savvy Swordsman. They've ranked swords from best to worst. Obviously, Sunite is the best. The magazine is open to a page full of armor sets. There are circles running around copper, iron, adamant, mithril, and Sunite armor. Okay. There's a door here. Nathaniel's quarters. I'm apparently allowed in. Wow, his quarters look really cool. What's this? A helmet that looks like it's seen some battles. Judging by the damage, the wearer was lucky to have it. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm being so nosy, aren't I? Hello, Alison. My name's Alison, but my friends call me Ali. What's yours? I'm Shelab. Nice meeting you. Very glad to meet you, Shelab. It's nice to see fresh faces in this town. I'm still meeting people, like, hours in. <laughs> I'll spend all my time mining. Okay, I think time to go back to my house. I don't know if I'm ever going to find Giuseppe. I should try and make that second copper helmet if I can, though, because... I don't think I got much copper. Do I have much copper? I got four pieces of copper, so I don't have enough for another helmet. But I kind of feel like it would be good to do because I actually know where the person is to hand it into, whereas like Giuseppe, I do not know where they are right now. I'll have a look around here. So Liam and Other dude. Is one of these Giuseppe's house or like I know Kitty's house is here. This is Lucia's house. I know Claude's house is here. I just don't know where Giuseppe lives or anything like that. So when you get like the more minor characters, they are a bit harder to find for quests. And then the quest drops off after a very short amount of time usually. Oh no, actually it won't. Sorry, it won't because he gave that quest to me. It's not off the board. Whereas I think, I think the helmets are off the board. So, we've got lots of things off the crafting table today. Lovely. I might pop them up here somewhere, around the chicken fence, the chicken thing. So there's pet food here. Um, is that an infantry sort? Oh, it is. I've been looking for that for ages. It's probably been there the whole time. <laughs> you know what I'm like. So I've got some corn seeds, um, just in case. I'm gonna put the grinder down and I'm gonna see if what I can grind in there, basically. Actually, I might put the grinder next to the cooking because that, it, it makes sense. So we can make flour, noodles, green spice and pet food. And pet food directly comes from wheat. So I think pet food might actually be the way forward with the chickens. Poor hungry chickens. Let's see. I just picked him up, great. How do I give pet food to them then? This is getting rather annoying. I might have to go and look this up or go and talk to somebody about it. Maybe I don't need to feed them. But I don't know why they seem to be... Oh, hang on. I think when I petted them, their um their health went up a bit. Oh, and... Feed chicken. Right. Right, okay. I've got it now. That's fine. I just needed to experiment a little bit. So you need to have pet food in your inventory, which is made from wheat in the grinder. We can definitely make a little bit of that. 
and then we can feed the chickens, and then we can have eggs and they don't die. Right, so that then means that I know what I'm doing when it comes to getting cows. So the cows probably eat the pet food as well, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to experiment with the chickens before I got expensive cows. And uh, thankfully, I managed to work it out before they died. So we can now do ranching. Yay! <laughs> Hurrah! Huzzah! I can also make some green spice now, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna actually um, pop into my chest and I'm gonna grab the green spice stuff, uh, which is uh, green root. So green root, make it into green spice. So at the moment, like if I, um, can I split a stack? Well, nine of them is 712, so 10 of them will probably be like a little bit more than that, maybe 800, so they're probably about 80 each, something like that. I could bring up my calculator if you want. Seven twelve divided by nine. Humph. Seventy nine point one. So that yeah, they're about eighty each. Good to know because then I know when I turn them into a uh, green root, how much more they're worth. So that's 435 divided by 5. It's 87, so they're worth a little bit more, but not that much more. Okay. For seeds that I just pick out of the ground, that's pretty okay. So this morning, um, my chickens need to be fed. Why is the pet food not being made? I might just go and buy some more for now, but like, why? Why no pet food being made? Oh, okay, apparently it's being made now. How weird. How very weird. And I'd like to craft one green spice as well. I would also like flour and noodles and things like that. Most of the things that I make here are either green spice or flour. So that will be really good to make. I, I will plant my corn anyway. Just because I've got it. So let's just hoe out some more space. With my rusty hoe. I've still got a rusty hoe. It's very, very weird. I'm still not 100% sure like what the difference is in the tools because it's certainly not going to be less stamina. I think it might just be a bit more reach. There's certainly nothing that I can't do with these rusty tools. If I am missing something, let me know. But a, a lot of this, I, I am afraid at the moment, is a, a big old experiment. So like not knowing how the chickens worked. But I've worked it out now, so now I know, you know? Now I know, you know? All right, so let's get some, probably over here, I guess, some corn planted. Get everything watered. And by the time I've done that, all my, I can do a comparison on the green root spice on how much that sells for, and also have a little look at the chicken feed. So it seems like the pets are a lot more difficult than the, the actual farming side of it. The, oh, the carrots haven't been watered. The actual farming side of everything is, is pretty okay. It's fine. I do need to go feed that snackaroon as well for my main quest. Um, but if I, if I miss feeding the, the chickens, it takes a little while probably for them to, to get back to normal. So I do need to make sure I have the stuff for that, which means making sure I have corn all the time. 
Okay, chickens. Here's your noms. One more that needs to be fed, and I can't. Oh, there we are. I've got to you now. So some of them, I think, were a little bit miffed. They were like, why are you not feeding her? She up, ah. I'm going to put my... I know things are a little bit all over the place, but this will be my furniture making area. I'll make a wooden table, a wooden wardrobe, wooden counter, a nice sofa, and a nice double bed. Fantastic. And for that, I'll need fabric, which I probably need to make using the loom. So the loom can probably go next door to the furniture table. So everything's looking very nice here now. I'm very, very super happy with it. Um, so I'm thinking we could either go to the mines or we could try and find Giuseppe. Or, yeah, go to the mines because I need those copper helmets. So I need to go and actually mine some copper. But yeah, I feel like I've done a, a nicer job of my... Oh, yes, he's right here. Cool. And goodness, I've been out here all day pretending to work so Tanya doesn't figure out I lost my tools. Thanks for not telling her, by the way. I'm always losing things and she's always making fun of me for it. No problem. That's wonderful. So now, yeah, I definitely, definitely need to do the, the helmet quest. I'm really happy that I worked out how to feed the chickens. Because if I hadn't found that out straight away, you guys would have laughed at me. Definitely. And the chickens would have died and you would have been really annoyed. Like, really annoyed. You have no idea. And I would have deserved it too. Alright, so... I want copper. But I also want to... I've got an adamantine key, so I may as well go and check for adamantine and then come back and get copper on the way out. I am still just trying to make my way through and everyone's like, oh, you know, I'm trying not to, to use mining and I'm just going and buying things in the shop. And I'm like, oh, okay. For this, maybe for a second run, but for a first run, I want to like try and explore kind of everything, so. I don't know how much I'm gonna find in here. Have I been in here quite recently? I mean, it's been a couple of days now. Level, mine, level nine mining. Okay, am I allowed to use the explodey spell? Yes, I am. Earthquake, rain, cloud, chain lining. There's not actually many spells, but the ones that are there hopefully are quite useful. Let's see if we can use it. Well, that's useful. That's incredibly super useful. A few amethysts and stuff around, but mm, not a ton of like useful good stuff. So let's go to level 13 before we get too far through. But yeah, I have chickens now and they love me and I'm gonna probably get some cows too. I do need to work out, like, I don't understand why we can't just have nice things like a gate. <laughs> but I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're gonna need to go and find the gate. Uh, wait for wait for it to be added in. Um, okay, so there is actually some adamantine in here for once. That uses a lot of mana. <laughs> so worth it though. Oh my goodness. Saves a lot of time. So I need to go into the forest and find more mana books and then I'll it'll uh, not take me as I'll be able to do more of them. I'll be able to do more explosions. 
Okay, absolutely nothing here. Oh, would you look at this? Awesome. So the thing is, if I take the thing, when I get my next level of mining, if I take the thing where I get breaking a rock, gets me two mana back, then that's going to make a big difference. Because if... If the rocks that break as part of using that uh, R spell, the uh, the vacuumus spell, if they if I break a whole load of them, I will probably get like a good amount of mana back, maybe enough to use the spell another time or two. Oh, and there was like another there was a bit over there, wasn't there? It's got some amethyst and stuff. Let me see if I can get to that bit quickly. How I didn't fall off there, I have no idea. Oh, actually, I need to be there, don't I? There we are. Ah, I got a rusty key. Nice. I can go into level 14 then. And I've got seven adamant ore now. Mm. Plus, I already have one bar, so that will be another two bars. Okay. I've still got level, I started on level 12, so I've still got level 11 to have a look at as well as level 14. So we'll see what we can find. I might be able to permanently open up level 14, possibly. Depending on how much is around. Seeing too much here. Okay, let's go around. There's uh, some ruby, which is... It can be sold. Certainly not seeing any adamant. But I do feel like this is maybe maybe the wrong way the long way around for things. Maybe I'd be better off just like farming a load of stuff, making food, selling it. I think that was one of the complaints that I'd seen about this game was that uh, it's too easy to do it the other way around. But yeah, that sucks. There wasn't anything good here at all. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the rusty key. I've still got some time, so... Um... No rusty key. So I get a better pickaxe as well. I mean, I've got quite a bit of money and I've got a lot of like produce that if I could make into the right stuff, I could sell and get myself a better pickaxe. So that might be the way forward, honestly. I think I might just be making work for myself. But it might be better for me to buy the picks and stuff. But I do still, like if I want to unlock the mines and get the, the sunite stuff, I do need to sort of make sure that I get through the whole thing. So I'm going to still need to mine for keys. And there's no way you can get through this whole thing with rusty keys. You're going to need proper keys. I still not have the rusty key. Wow, I still don't. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to sell all the gems that I find here as well. It'll probably be enough to get me a, a much better... Here we are, a rusty key. To get me a much better pick. I think a much better pick... I spend a lot of time in the mines. I think a better pick would be really good. If I could even get the mithril one, that'd be amazing. 
Okay, rusty key. Let's go to level 15 out of 25. It's a brand new level, so I'm hoping there might be something to mine here. And again, the last one was a brand new level. I didn't find very much there to mine, did I? Ah, there's one, at least. Oh, there's loads! Yes, there's like a whole bar's worth. That will get me another key. That will get me another permanent um, level open. Which is very exciting because it means you can always start a little bit earlier. I also still have level 11 to check. It's getting on in the day though. And I haven't got any copper and that's what I came in here for. <laughs> so I probably should go to some of the earlier levels and try and get some copper. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's iron. Okay. I was like, is this mithril? And I was like, no, it's not mithril, it's just iron. And iron is not bad though. In fact. Ooh, there's a few down here, nice. Oh gosh, I don't have any time left. I think the copper helmets may have to wait. Oh, there's so much here. It might actually, honestly, the extra adamant might be worth a passing out. There's no way I'm getting home now, so let's just keep going. I've got like 20 of them, yes. There's one more, there's one more. It's 11 o'clock now, but 21 will mean I think it's trying, I might be able to get home, you never know. It's, I think it's trying to give me a chance. No, what am I talking about? Of course I'm not getting home. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. But tomorrow, I reckon 21 it would turn into 7. Oh, not enough for two keys. It's enough for one. One key is now four. It's getting harder and harder to get through, the, through these mines. Um, but I definitely think I'm going to do some selling. I'm going to leave the mines for like a day. I'm going to do some selling. I'm going to just pass out and that'll be the end of the episode, actually. Uh, because it's like 50 minutes in now. But tomorrow's episode... We're gonna uh, make keys out of all of that. And I'm also going to s like save up enough money to get the next level pickaxe up. Cause I definitely think that that's gonna be the thing that will, there we are. 672, no, that's like two whole gems. But there we are. So I'm gonna, gonna just leave it there. Um, Tomorrow we will, oh, the, okay, that's fine. The copper helmet quest ran out, but that's okay. I don't mind too much. I've got other things to do. Um, I can always pick up new quest board quests, and I've now got m much of more of a, much a much better setup. So it means that um, if it if they want a table, if they want anything, I can pretty much make it for them. So I'm quite happy with that actually. I do want to go through the forest and try and get more tomes so I can get more uh, mana. I also want to get mana mana balls so that I can maybe try and buy even if I can't buy the lion mount, which I really want. Like, wouldn't you really want that? Um, I'll at least have the, maybe the broomstick or something like that. I'd, I'd love to, to get a mount to explore with. And also, we do want to get to the Withergate and find the other city. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Sunhaven, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.